Yo, did we just get robbed in NY? What up, P Nation? Welcome back to King Me Sports, your number one spot for all your NBA news and content with a focus on, of course, Heat Nation, man. If you have not subscribed, make sure you go down there, hit that subscribe button, and violate that like button so we can set the YouTube algorithm on fire. Man, you already know what it is. Now let's get to the content. P.O.P. All the day. Listen, I'm always the type to admit faults and accept the things that we could have done better in the game, right? Obviously, the Miami Heat should have won game two versus the New York Knicks, but I think we got robbed, bro. Now, listen, if you haven't already soaked it in yet, the Miami Heat lost to the New York Knicks in game two without Jimmy. And look, I'll be the first to tell you, I never doubted Miami for a second, even without Jimmy, and even without Tyler Hero. And even without Victor Oladipo. But we also got to remember, we played a full Knicks roster. But there was one player that we didn't even know was about to lace up the night. We didn't even know he was about to put on the sneakers and get on the floor with these guys. Wow. Boston. Tim Donahue, the NBA referee who was found guilty for betting on games he officiated, just had a Netflix doc released about him. And the thing that at least caught my eye the most from it has to do with Donahue's past relationship with a current NBA ref, Scott Foster. We really got robbed in New York. But look, I don't ever like to make excuses for us at all, ever. I think we can all agree that in this game, there were moments of officiating that were absolutely awful. Like, for instance, this play right here. Miami Heat up one in the third when Hardenstein is clearly pushed by his own teammate, Josh Hart. Foul called on Bam Adebayo. Oh, we could talk about this one. Kyle Lowry, who's basically elbowed to the ground by Julius Randle. And you guess it, the foul's on Kyle Lowry. There's more. Caleb Martin tosses up a three-pointer that clearly grazes the rim, and it's ruled as a shot clock violation, turnover going the other way. What's worse is that Gabe Vincent rebounded the ball for an easy layup, and that point was taken away. Now look, y'all, like I said, I don't like to make excuses, but Scott and his crew, they was on something tonight. Now, this takes me to the worst call of the night. Possibly the one call that shifted the entire game for the Miami Heat. And that was the one play where Brunson gets the ball in the corner to toss up a three. But Hardenstein is fouled by Bam. They count the three and also give Hardenstein the foul. Now, the issue with this play here is that you can clearly see that he's fouled before Brunson gets that three in motion. So technically, this shouldn't count. And listen, sometimes I get give the refs the benefit of the doubt, right? It's hard to see these things in real time, but the fact that they got a chance to review this and still made the decision to count this basket is beyond me. I mean, when we talk about referees in the NBA, referees should be top of the tier and they should be the best in the business. But to watch this, review it, and still decide that this is your call, something ain't right here, Scott. But listen, I'ma keep it real. Scott Foster is a seasoned referee in the game, right? Scott Foster been here for a long time. So he's had some history in officiating big games. But we got to also recognize here that he is 6-0 in the Heat in games that he's officiated. That man is undefeated. Damn. And also, there's rumors going out there that Scott Foster is actually known as the extender. Meaning, somehow, all the games that he's refed in have gone the distance. Meaning, game sixes and sevens. And look, it's obvious I ain't tripping. Because for some reason, his name just ended up being the trending topic on Twitter. So everybody pretty much see what we seeing. And look, we take some blame too. Because while the Miami Heat should not have lost this game because we should have just had mistakes that we didn't make. We do have to acknowledge that the refereeing, the officiating in this game was horrendous. And we got robbed in NY because we was out there lacking. We was walking around without that thing on us. But Heat Nation, I say this one thing. Think about it this way. The Miami Heat lost by six points to a team that needed Brunson to score 30 points. They needed Randall to score 25 and they needed Barrett to score 24. So if that's what y'all got on a team without Jimmy Butler, enjoy it. At the end of the day, the Heat should have still won this game, and that's a fact. And next time, we just got to do better so Scott Foster don't even have a chance to lace them bitches up. Ain't it crazy that it looks like Josh Hart right here is thanking Scott Foster? Like, bro, I, you can't make this up. Game three is set for Saturday, giving both teams some time to rest and get this together. So we hope to have a healthy Jimmy back in the lineup, and we can get this back in control. And listen, I can tell y'all, Jimmy got some revenge on his mind. Yeah, so fuel up, Jimmy. Fuel up. But listen, Heat Nation, I want to know how y'all feel about it. You think we got robbed in NY with no firearm? You think we just gave it up smooth? Let me know in the comment section. And listen, if you want to cop 
some merch. I got a whole bunch of merch on Amazon right now. You can click the link in the description. You can go on there, get your Hemi shirts, get your Jimmy Butler 56 shirts. Go ahead and cop what you can on Amazon. If you got Amazon Prime, and you doing it big out here and you doing even better. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, follow me on TikTok, Twitter, follow me on all the socials. You already know it's your boy Goods, King Me Sports. You know the vibes. Way off in the deep end like usual. Get the sweaty past us, they doing too much. Haven't done my taxes, I'm too turned up. Virgil got a paddock on my wrist going nuts. Get this caught me slipping once, okay, so what?